Scheibe. This video will feature a dog. So this video is kind of day two of my Darren Chris Listen Up Tour experience. This video is about the Roslyn Ballroom. If you saw my previous video, you would know that day one was a complete disaster. I got to the concert two hours late, which is... Oh, oh my god! Guys! I missed two hours of Darren Chris. Oh, I hate New Jersey Transit so much. Much. So I had general admission standing room tickets, which meant that I had to stand in line for a lot of hours, which I was kind of nervous about, but it turned out to be a lot of fun. I met up with my friend Maria, who is a fellow Norwegian Darren Chris fan, a girl named Candace that we met the night before at the Long Island show, who is amazing, and um, another girl called Gabriella, who um, I just met in the line, but she was amazing as well and we had a lot of fun. None of us had thought about bringing, you know, playing cards or anything like that, so we were just talking for the entire time we waited, which was about six, seven, eight hours. So right before it was time to actually go to the concert, I decided to take my camera and walk around the building filming all the people because there were so many people there, guys. So many pink sunglasses, guys. And here they are. Call me Tuesday. Why should I open a Pandora's box of rude complications? The risk is too high for one more right gone wrong. Cause love is a very strong and sacred thing. And you can stop it when you want to, even as bruises start to show. And true. a lot of people. <laughs> if you could see yourself in this video, let me know. So when it was finally time to enter the building, we'd kind of given up on, uh, you know, thinking that we would get good spots because, well, you, you saw the line. It's insane. <laughs> so when we entered, we sprinted and obviously the front um, stage um, seats were already taken, but I noticed that there was this opening right on the side. And I know that when you're at a concert and you're still at front at the side, people, you usually kind of move towards the stage. When Darren finally started singing, we were, there was one person in front of us from the railing. So that's really good. So Charlene Kay was the first warm up and I love Charlene Kay um, so much. She is amazing. She's so beautiful. She's, she has the most amazing voice and she's just a BAM! <laughs> I've seen Charlene perform live before and I've met her and I have her CD and uh, I really honestly love her music. Darren actually came out during Charlene's performance, which was kind of funny, um, video. Yeah. Oh, baby, please, don't, don't. Charlene at Theo Katzman were up and I oh my god First time I saw Theo Katzman was at the Mercury Lounge in 2012 early 2012 
uh, when I was in New York to see Darren on How to Succeed. I then became obsessed with his music, you know, the one CD he has out. <laughs> so he came on the stage and, guys, ugh, I almost flipped out. The people behind me, they were yelling as loud as they could. Who is this guy? Get off the stage! Boo! We're here for Darren! I was going to kill them! They were really booing loudly! And I turned around and I'm like, really? Really? Sass. After the warm-up, Darren came out and people flipped! So, it's pretty damn hot in here. My name's Darren. How you doing? He started. <laughs> Dog! He started off by singing in the Circle of Life from The Lion King, which he has done um, for every concert this tour. All his crowd favorites. And a couple of new songs. How you look, you look absolutely picture perfect. Songs called Pheromones. It's not just you. Amazing, it's been stuck in my head uh, for a long time now, so it was really cool to see him perform that one live. magical to see Darren perform all these songs that, you know, they don't only mean so much to me, but they mean so much to every single person in that room. And 
he also did this speech uh, before he sang Not Alone, saying how, you know, the fans have made this song into something, you know, he never expected it to, and how, you know, it inspired people, and just, it has grown to be this magical song, and I cried. People were singing along to every song, and it was magical. I'm so sad that this tour is over. I mean, what am I supposed to look forward to now? Is there something called post-concert depression? Is that a thing? Can we make that a thing? Alright guys, uh, like, subscribe, uh, whatever you want, and I will see you soon. Bye, 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 bye. Sexy is a very interesting term.